video in today's video i will show you how to get all the images from a user's device and display it inside a flat list so i have already made a quite a few videos on how to pick images with and without permission but here we will get access to all the images so i will show you the demo on android first so if you select on get so i just have a button so if i click on get all photo uh, so here you will have to go to your uh, uh, app so i will select this and here you will have to select allow access to manage all files now this is a new thing uh, which is uh, so android has introduced something called scope storage but in case if you have an app where you require access to all files you can use something like this and if i go back here you can see i am displaying all the images inside a flat list now i only have three images that's why i'm displaying three images similarly for ios as well if i click on get all photo button uh, it will first ask you for permission and you user will have to select allow full access if not then this app will, will uh, this app won't work so if i just click on allow full access i can display all the images over here so yeah that's it uh, let's get started so as usual uh, you just create a react native project and to enable the new architecture uh, search for new arc enable inside android gradle dot properties and make this as true and for ios you will have to open your terminal cd to your ios directory and then run this command i have already done this now we will be using both turbo module as well as fabric for this uh, turbo module for uh, getting access to all images and fabric for displaying uh, image inside an image view so let's get started so if you want you can refer to this documentation of turbo modules and fabric because i will be copying a lot of code from this documentation itself so i will just close this for now first what you will have to do is go to your main android folder go to build.gradle here you will have to add this kotlin version over here as well as class path of kotlin version over here next go to this build.gradle and here you will have to add apply plugin kotlin android as well as you will have to add in kotlin standard lib and you will have to add activity kotlin extension as well because we want to use register for activity result uh, next go to src android manifest.xml and here you will have to add internet permission read external storage so read external storage will be required if you are using below android r but if you are using android r and above you will have to use manage external storage permission and this is a like very sensitive permission so while uploading the apk to google play store google may ask you why you are using this permission so you have to pro uh, provide a proper justification for this next uh, uh, so we'll go over rtn my image first so this is just to display image inside an image view so we will get a list of all the image uris once a user access the permission uh, permission to all the images and we will uh, send uh, this image uris one by one to this image view inside a flat list and we will display this inside uh, inside this image view okay so i will just use uh, first you have to create this rtn my image folder inside that create package.json and here i have just copy pasted everything from docs only this name has been changed uh, this name has been changed and this name has been changed next i have created a podspec file again copy pasted it from the docs and only this name has been changed next i have created a js folder inside that again everything copy pasted from docs and here only this image we will be providing this image url okay and this name has been changed next inside android folder i have created build.gradle and again i have copy pasted everything from docs and only apply plugin kotlin android has been added this kotlin standard lib has been added and this uh, coil dependency has been added and this namespace has been changed as well next go to src create all these folders first create my image.kt so here we will be extending from app compact image view next create a my image package.kt again this has been copied from docs only this uh, make sure to change this name over here next create my image manager.kt again this has been copied from docs so this is all things and the important thing is once we get the image url prop we are just using the load method of coil library and displaying the image inside the image view okay so that's it for android for rtn my image for rtn my picker uh, just create a package.json so this is a turbo module again this has been copied from docs only uh, this name has been changed okay this name has been changed over here 
and uh, this name has been changed and java package name has been changed next i create a pod spec file again everything has been copied from docs and only this name has been changed uh, next i create a js folder inside that i have created a typescript file again this has been copied from docs and i just uh, uh, created my own method of pick image and when this name has been changed uh, next uh, create a android folder inside that build.gradle again everything is copied from docs only this name uh, this line has been added this packet namespace has been changed and kotlin standard lib has been added next inside src create all these folders create my picker uh, package.kt again this has been copied from docs only the names has been changed at appropriate lines over here over here and over here next create my picker model.kt and here I, I again i have to use an hack because at the time of this recording it's not possible to directly integrate turbo module inside the main android folder it is possible but there is no uh, docs for it so i don't know how to do it so what i have done is i am just asking for internet permission i know we don't need to ask internet permission explicitly but this was the only possible workaround because we have to use register for activity result which is not possible to use inside a module <coughs> sorry about that which is not possible to use inside a module uh, next here we are overriding the method and just asking for permission so this will give a call back to the main activity now what you will have to do is open your main android folder inside android studio go to app src main uh, java and make sure you convert this main activity dot java to main activity dot kt like there is a, uh, a built-in tool in android studio which helps us to, helps you to do that and here i have defined the same thing as usual like asking for uh, internet permission and here i have defined an image url uh, list as well because we will uh, store all the urls uh, image urls uh, list inside this list uh, then here i have just added a helper class to check whether all permission was granted or not and here you will get the callback from your internet permission once you get the callback and then all permission has been granted uh, then what we will do is we will uh, check uh, whether the user has uh, this all file access permission or not if yes then get all images if no then request the image and if you are using below android r then we are asking for uh, we are asking for read external storage permission now this is for read external storage permission so once we get the permission we just call get all images and this is for get for all file access which is above android r and uh, also applicable to android r so once you come over here you don't need this like this was just part of debugging um, so once you come over here uh, you will just again check for whether you have the permission if yes get all images if not uh, display a toast message then here again we will display use request external storage permission okay and if it is uh, greater than android r we are just uh, redirecting the user to the settings activity and if below android r just read external storage and this is the uh, this will this is the helper method which i have created to check whether uh, allowed to fall access allowed to all file access has been granted or not and this is for get all image access so we will use the content resolver for this and here we are getting the id display name and data and once we get uh, so here we are using a while loop for this and i'm just uh, uh, once we get the image you are i'm just attaching it to our uh, list and here we are sending all the list as a string uh, back to the react native side <coughs> once you are done with this what you will have to do is open your terminal go to the root of your react native project first run this command yarn add dot slash rt in my image then run this command then you will have to do cd dot dot it will move you outside your react native project then you will have to run this command but here in this command make sure uh, make sure you change your project name so my project name is rn app rn app rn app followed by the project folder name which we have created similarly over here as well make sure you change your project name as well and then run this command once you do all this then you will have to do cd android and then run this command and for ios you will have to cd to ios and then run this command so i have created two views one for android view and so here you can see uh, on this line i have created an android view as well as an ios view so inside android view uh, what i have done is uh, i have just created a button and i am calling pick image from it and once you get call pick image i have added a listener for this 
and uh, if you remember we are getting uh, the list uh, in a form of string so i have to use a uh, bunch of uh, you know uh, helper things to uh, convert it back to an image uh, to convert it back to an array and once we get that i'm just using flat list and here i'm just rendering our image component and passing each and every image uri to it so yeah that's it similarly for ios as well uh, so here we are using native event emitter and once uh, we call i have just created a button once we call the method here it will come on the event emitter side and we are uh, just uh, calling say set, set image uri to event and we don't have to uh, do all this manual conversion because i am using objective c plus plus and it automatically handles that for us and here again inside the flat list i'm just using this rt in my image okay now for the ios part what you will have to do is open xcode firstly uh, you will have to go to info.plist and have to add this privacy photo library usage description permission next uh, define an event emitter header file again this is just copy pasted from doc so that i can send uh, the data back to react native side similarly define an objective c file as well for this okay so this is the file for it next uh, create a swift file called my image and here uh, this is the uh, this will take uh, the image URL. So this uh, in a, in iOS case it is an identifier. Uh, so once we get the URL, I am just calling uh, checking whether uh, all permissions has been granted or not. If yes, uh, then just get photo in library. If not, request for the permission. So get photo in library here. You can use ph assets dot fetch assets, and it will actually give you the image view. I am just displaying inside the image view. And in the init method, I'm just adding initializing our image view as well as doing some NS layout stuff. Okay, and instead of a bridging header, I'm just importing our event emitter. Then create this header file. Again, this has been copied from docs. Only thing changes add imports header as well as add this. And yeah, that's it. Next, create an object to C file, but make sure you change the extension to .mm. So here you can see the extension is .mm and here again this has been copied from docs only file name has been changed same for this as well file name has been changed this should be a bridging header name followed by dash so my bridging header name is rnf uh, next this has been copied from docs entire thing uh, and here we are create initializing our swift file again this has been copied from docs initializing our view initializing our swift file and adding it as a sub view to overview and rest everything is copied from docs and once we get the image url i am assigning it to our swift files url variable and yeah again this has been copied from docs only this name and this name has been changed next you have to create an image manager class as well again this has been copied from docs only this names has been changed and we will get the image url as a prop that has been defined and for picker again i have defined a header class and only thing is changes i have added this photos and photos ui as well as event emitter to our uh, file and only this name has been changed over here next i have created an object to c++ file as well and again this has been copied from docs only changes we have defined this ns mutable array and this file name has been changed and this everything is same only this name has been changed and inside peak image we are first accessing for permission and once user has uh, granted permission i'm calling fetch image from library if not then i'm just uh, logging it to the console but you can handle it however you want and fetch image from library we will just fetch uh, all the images and here i am adding it to our ns mutable array and then sending it to back to the react native side so yeah that's it thank you for watching bye